Hi, beautiful. Look at you. How long has it been since you washed your hair? And somehow you still look stunning. Wow, thank you for being here. How are we feeling? We're doing good, we're vibing. I think I'm extra excited today because we're watching some Bleach Fails. You know, they're fun to watch. I mean, I think I always had fun watching them. However, nowadays I get excited when I see a new one. Let's see just how ratchet these Bleach Fails get today. Let's do it. Our first girl dipping her hands into some bleach is Maddie Sire. And this is bleaching and dyeing my hair in quarantine. Huge fail. I spent like 25 minutes looking at the shelves at all the colors. And then after 25 minutes, I turned around and I found these guys, which are the Manic Paddocks. Okay. This is exactly what I was looking for. So I'm good. Now I have all the supplies I need and I guess I'm gonna dye my hair. Yo, <laughs> what's up? Wait, her hair is so pretty to start. It can only go down from here probably. <laughs> Great. No, her hair is absolutely gorgeous. I love this color on her. I feel like her ends are just slightly highlighted or her hair just grew out from highlights she had previously. I love it. It looks so good with that wave she has going on, that formation. Oh, we're going in with the box dye, baby. <laughs> oh, we're gonna need to bleach it a bit if we want the- Yeah. Nice and bright, so I got the bleach. Then I got- <sighs> Ah. The gray kind of hair color. So kind of decide oh. what to do. So this one is supposed to just like make it turn gray. I, they didn't have any toners for some reason. I don't really know. Okay. What? I have never seen that box dye kit ever in my life. However, I don't see a lot of box dye kits. That one I've definitely never seen, which is weird, but also not weird because I don't frequent the box dye aisle. However, that said 8S, which means a level eight, probably silver. I didn't know box dye did silver now. Concerning, is that permanent color? I have so many questions that are not gonna get answered, but that's okay, let's move on. Okay, looks like we're going for a purple moment here. These are kind of like the colors of them. So one's very, very vibrant. The other one's very dull. What I think I wanna do is like have one transition to the other, or should I do half and half? Word, that sounds like a plan. I heard that if you mix these with conditioner, they become lighter because like I, I correct like a pastel kind of purple but this is very much so not pastel i'm hoping that i can mix it with something and then it'll become you like, sure can more pastel I don't know. I still don't know what I want to do. I'll come back to you when I'm bleaching my hair. I feel like I'm scared. I think that's the emotion I'm feeling right now. So she's mixing up this color. I think I just saw powder go in there, which is weird. I actually never knew these people did bleach, the, these box dye companies. Put it on my hair first. Okay, so she's starting on the ends, which I love to see. You guys know me. You know I love the ends colored first if you're doing something like this. And she probably needs to color her ends first because, you know, if she hits those roots first, they're going to get really light, really bright, really fast and it's not gonna be good. However, what happened to sectioning? We're just not gonna section anything? Y'all playing games. Oh God, Magno, this is not gonna work. That is not. Sirens are going off. This is not correct. Don't do this. No, don't. <laughs> yeah, we definitely need to be wiping. No. Cause you need to put it like, through my whole hair. Here, just give me a moment. I'm putting the bottom to the top. Oh, you're gonna be a lot, Matt. Are you saying that's not gonna be enough? I'm so sorry. Man, this girl looks so bad. <laughs> Yo, what is she doing? We gotta take sections. We gotta go in there. We gotta be, we gotta have some precision with this, man. Money, I don't know if she has so much hair too, and they are not putting enough bleach. But it's looking like I might not have enough bleach because I have a lot of hair. Yeah, you need a lot more than that, girl. Part of my hair needs that. Woo! How's it going? There's no bleach in this girl's hair at all. This is going to be so spotty and terrible. Once this whole pandemic is over, I can just get a hairdresser to fix it and- No. No. No, that's not how it works. <laughs> no. You can't just get a hairdresser to fix it. Uh, well, you can, but it's gonna cost you a lot of money because color corrections are pretty much the most costly thing you can get done at a salon. Actually, I would say they are, besides like hair extensions and like, you know, things like that. But color corrections, oof. Boom, pay me all that money. Make the bands, what is it? Make band, make them, make the bands, pay them, <laughs> oh my God. What? So it's already starting to light. Oh, this is bad. It's so dry. Probably do a mixture of these guys. I don't really know yet. We'll see how the bleach turns out first, because that's obviously Girl, nothing can happen. There is no hope right now. That's what it looks like so far. So I will see you in like a few minutes when we come. Yeah, I'll see you then. Alright, I'll see you then. So now we have to do the roots. 
Okay, I like the little technique we got going here. We're doing the we're doing the ends first. We're waiting like 20 minutes and then we're doing the roots. I love that. I mean, it's better than like nothing, you know? I mean, you didn't have to wait that long. I mean, your ends were already light, but whatever, I'll take it. Does it look lighter? <laughs> Um, yeah, actually a lot. Oh, <laughs> no. Yeah, you went ham. <laughs> oh, oh, babe. Oh, baby. Babe, but girl. So get it. You have to get it all into my hair. Like, into the roots. Jesse, no. <sighs> you can't it. No, yeah, no. that's what you have to do. <laughs> Ooh. Um. <laughs> okay, so... Okay, don't. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. Okay, my anxiety is kicking in a little bit. Apparently, it's starting to actually kind of look good. In what world? Is it looking good? Kind of burning. No, no world in the galaxy. <laughs> so you're saying it looks good? Well, the back does, not the top yet. I'm not trying to break up friendships here, but I think your friend's lying to you. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Did not quite get into the very front part of my roots. Oh my god, people do that all the time. Ooh, that irks me. Even hairdressers do it too. The little bit on the hairline always like gets missed. I don't know what that is. Like I purposely go over that 3,000 times to make sure that it's not missed. Like, it, oh baby, Jesus. Oh baby. Oh, you did it, girl. You ruined your hair. Oh, it looked so good before. What happened? Oh, no, like, oh I don't want to see anymore. Each, each way, and then the rest is like, whew, whew. Now, I knew this was going to go a little bit bad, but. Oh. I'm not expecting it to terrible. <gasps> <laughs> don't put purple over that. Don't tell me you're putting purple over that. Don't, don't do it. She has such nice hair. It could have been so good. <gasps> After like crying, I have come to terms. Could be a lot worse. I could be like full on bald, you know? That's true. I just have to wait for it to like fully dry. And we've all seen our fair share of those videos where they go bald. Uh, at least you didn't go bald. But now I'm gonna add the color and I think once I add the color, it'll all be okay. It won't, it's not gonna be okay, girl. You're gonna try and put purple over that. Darker at the top. Yeah, like the dark blue. Yeah. And then the purple. That's a definitely a plan. At least we're doing the darker uh, to lighter gradient on our hair. That will help the unevenness. I don't think uh, when you put the purple over the orange, it's gonna turn like a brown color, but. <laughs> so my hair is um, dry now. So I guess it's time to move on to color. Okay, it looks good in that light, actually. It doesn't look horrible in that light. Section it a little bit better this time. I'm glad we're learning from our mistakes. That's all that matters. We're gonna section it better this time. So it was recommended to me to test a small piece first, but I don't know if I'm gonna do that. It was recommended to me and I'm not gonna do that. Okay. Yeah, that color's definitely not dark enough to go over that orange. I mean, you could probably get away with putting a purple over your hair or a blue and making it work as long as it's like really dark blue or really dark purple. Um, however, the color you're using is not dark enough. Okay, kind of looking like it's turning purple. Yeah, at your roots where your hair is blonde, the rest is mucky and gross. Okay, please make sure we actually do the bottom this time. <laughs> and wait, I don't know how many minutes. I'll figure out how many minutes. That's not dark enough. That's not gonna do it for you. And it's not gonna be splotchy. Um, really, really hoping on that one. Kinda looks still It's so bad. I already know it. It's gonna be so bad. Oh my god, it looks ten times worse. It looks ten times worse than it did before. Top of my head did not die at all. I thought the top was gonna be easier to color than the bottom, but clearly her ends are very dry and porous and sucked in that purple color and the roots are very healthy and they were just like, nope, we need something stronger and darker. Thank you. Oh. Hey, the ends look kinda good. Literally. I literally can't even make it look good. So for some reason, only half the dye stayed in my hair. It makes sense for the top not to be colored, you know, because it's healthy hair, but the color literally just fell out of her roots. That's kind of weird. And her ends are like actually purple, which I'm surprised about. So just the bottom part stayed in. The blue just decided to like peace out. It was like, yo, <laughs> I ain't staying here. It's not fun here. I know. What the blue kind of did is it kind of toned it. Like the top is a little bit less orange. You know, it's kind of more of like a, Toned. We're not gonna fix it? <laughs> You're gonna leave me like this? 
like on camera and stuff it doesn't look terrible but in person it looks so splotchy and just like patchy and everything so i've heard that this stuff never comes out so yeah that's great well that's where she leaves it guys with those orange roots and the purple ends listen you could actually make the orange roots work why don't you just color them brighter orange that way it looks purposeful like you wanted a orange root and purple ends that would actually be cool and very unique and fun i think you should go for it with that yeah that's the decision thank you for making that video <laughs> next time oh do a lot of things different please your hair could have fallen out so i guess it could have been worse but it went pretty bad all right let's move on all right up next we we have Angela Boss, and this is Bleaching My Hair at Home, part one, disaster. Ooh, it's a saga. I love those. All right, let's see what happens. I am attempting to go from this, which is pretty dark. There's a little bit of brown in there, but it's pretty Okay, side part. To blonde. My thought <laughs> is that I'm going to first lighten my hair. What is that? Dye first. What is that? going to go in with the bleach. This is everything that the box dye comes with. It's official. I've heard it all. She said she's going to first dye it with the color, the box dye color, and then she's going to bleach it after. Because for whatever reason in her head, that made sense. I'm not judging you because a lot of things that I say in my own head make zero sense. Developer, it comes with the color and it comes with a little packet of conditioner to wash your hair afterwards. And it comes with direction. It also comes with two gloves. My mixture seems pretty good. There's like this little tip thing on the top. You have to cut it off so you can squeeze out the dye. There you go, the dye. Girl, the dye goes on your head, and not in the box. Protect your hands from getting dye on them and from staining your hands. Also, if you're bleaching, it protects your skin from pretty much kind of like burning off. Put it on my hands like that. <laughs> I don't like it. Make it stop. Every strand of my hair. Okay, so all of my hair no, it's not. Dye. Covering my forehead because I have a big forehead and I'm really self conscious. But it does say leave on for 30 I'm sure minutes, your forehead so is beautiful. For I will come back in 30 minutes and we'll wash it off. I mean, I was hoping that it was going to lighten a lot more. We will attempt to go in now with bleach. So, assuming that what the hair you were starting with was your natural hair color, assuming that what you just did was put artificial color into your hair, which is much, much harder to lighten than natural hair color. So you basically took one step back instead of one step forward from where you previously were originally. And you just made this all 20 times harder and you go girl. Once you open this packet, it comes with the developer and it comes with the highlighting powder. That's so enough for a toddler's head, a toddler. Together. Then once that is mixed, you have to mix in the protective cream and then we have to shampoo our hair and it actually comes with a toner. Oh my gosh, guys. I don't Why are we starting right there? I mean, at least we're not going on the route first. I'll take down. that. We are going on the route. <laughs> We are. All the way to your roots, so. You should you not go that go close either. Close. That's not gonna make a difference. You gotta go at least like an inch and a half away from your root. I'm kind of freaking out because it looks so orange. Look at that, oh my God. But I'm kind of expecting it to come out orange. Listen girl, I know we all have insecurities, but I just have to tell you that your forehead is normal size and you have a beautiful forehead. I know that might not change anything because that's how you see yourself, but girl, your forehead looks hella normal, I gotta tell you. Also, if you're insecure about your forehead, try a middle part and doing some side swept bangs. That'll really help you, I'm sure, feel a little more confident about your forehead. This is how my hair turned out. This is Shoot! You know, I was expecting a really ugly color. Uh-huh. Really prepared to look at it. But um, this is just the process of going from really, really dark to platinum blonde. I for sure need to do another bleaching. Yes, we do. We do, 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 do. A lot better. <sighs> 
Yeah. I already kind of feel the damage, so I'm really, really scared. The worst part, I think, is that our ends are just four shades darker than our, our roots. We see it time and time again, guys. Please tell me she's going to start on the ends. Store had, so I'm using the Clairol Balayage one. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know anymore, you know what I mean? Like, I just don't know. I don't know if people are aware that there is like bleach you can just buy, like a, you can buy like a tub of it and then you can buy a developer for it and that's all you really need. But instead people decide to like go and spend like twice as much money on things that don't work for their hair. Like these box kits that don't even have enough color in them to cover your whole head. Is there something that I'm missing? Is it me? I don't know, whatever. And I bought two boxes. They didn't have Great. toner toner because obviously Purple shampoo. Perfect. I grocery store and I just went to like hair section, but they did have this brass toning purple shampoo and conditioner. Saturated all of my hair. I used up every single drop of bleach. And I had my boyfriend help me with the back this time, so it was a little bit more even. So Is there bleach on your hair? I felt like there wasn't enough bleach and I got two boxes. Nothing happened. <laughs> I feel like it's a little more yellowy, like I see more yellow peeking through. It actually looks worse. It's still quite orange. Just put in the purple shampoo and the purple shampoo comes out really That's not going to do anything purple. for you. Purple cancels out yellow. Blue cancels out orange. You have orange hair. You need blue. When the purple shampoo was in my hair, my hair looked Nothing really good. happened. What a surprise. The conditioner was actually blue, and when it was in my hair, it looked really good. Okay, fast forwarding. She's doing another box dye. Believe it or not. Are we using foils now? We love incubation. <laughs> Let's get it heated up. Ooh, fun. She needs that heat from the foil on the ends for sure. You know, if she was in the salon at this point, I would slap her hair with some 30 volume and some bleach, put it every little piece in foils. Ooh, I would do the most clean little sections and the little tiny foils, hack them onto her head, do like 200 of them. Then after it's all processed, her ends are nice and bright white. Pull the foils out slightly, do her root, get all that really white, tone it the up and it'll be perfect. It's lighter. Yes. We did, we, lighter. Did, we did something. <laughs> not platinum like how I wanted it, but I think it might be ready for a toner. My toner is no. not in until another week. So Your maybe. hair has to be a level 10 to tone it. Your hair is at a level eight right now. You got two more levels to go up before you can tone it to platinum. There's blonde, there's orange, and then there's like some <laughs> icy part. Oh, those I ends are crispy. This evenly, I tried. Let's go into part two real quick and see what happens and we'll go to part three. Just bleach the orange pieces and avoid like the very few, very nice pieces. <laughs> She's back at it again, guys. Fall off, and then I plan on going in and covering up all of my. At least we are not touching the damaged ends. So, you guys were so great. You left a lot of comments, so I bought some stuff, as per your recommendation. Oh, thank God. The forty developer, and I bought um two packs. I think I'm just going to use one. This is the L'Oreal Quick Blue. Okay, I approve of the Quick Blue, not of the 40 volume. 30 volume would have been just fine, but that's okay. T18. Lightest Ash Blonde Toner and the developer. I'm creating a blonde toner and retiring. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm creating a blonde toner and retiring since everybody in the world seems to just grab T18. Some reason she's starting on the top of her head still. Start on the bottom and work your way up. It'll make it a lot easier and a lot more organized because you are laying the hair on top of itself as you go up and not trying to flip it over. I don't know guys. I don't think my hair is going to lift like any more than this without completely frying it. I, I just want this to be over. Lathered on conditioner. Oh, it's starting to fall off. It's starting to come out. It's starting to come out. Oh, shoot. No more bleaching, whatever color. Hallelujah. It shall be. But I am going to go in with T18 and 20 volume. That's not good. T18 doesn't work on orange hair. Do I have to scream it from the rooftops? Okay, so she's put the T18 in and let's see how it does nothing in a second. And after 30 minutes, we're gonna wash it out and then we'll see how it looks. So this is how It did nothing. What a surprise. Time and time again, you guys, it doesn't work. It's still not gonna work, ever. There's not, the toner did such a good job. I like the color. I didn't do anything. Excited about this color. Part three, let's hit it. What could she possibly do in part three that she hasn't already done. So if you guys remember my first 
bleaching my hair at home video. I think this was the last, it was, this was like the third time that I bleached my hair is when I used this one. And I'm really sorry, I don't mean to one. laugh. I like the amount of lift it gave me. I'm hoping that since I'm so light already, um, I can finally get to this platinum blonde. Why are we buying the box dye again? I could not tell you why we resorted back to the box dye. I really couldn't. I felt like I really saturated my hair. That actually looks time. very well saturated, I will say that. Maybe we're on to something this time. So I have my oh! toner Wait, here. Wait, show me it again. I really like this toner. This toner worked really well last time. And Okay, her hair is actually at a pretty decent color now. The thing is, she's gonna have to use the right toner and T18 is not the right toner for her in order to get that really nice blonde color. I would definitely recommend her doing a root shadow in this situation, doing like a level eight ash on at the top of her head and then doing like a level nine neutral on the bottom of her hair would be best probably. This T18 is not gonna cut it, girl. Wow, look at the color. That's I mean is amazing like you're giving t18 way too much credit right now girl scalp skin was like peeling off and i know that sounds really really disgusting but i think it was because when i was bleaching my hair i was lathering the bleach onto my scalp like so much because bleach doesn't lather I was trying to get rid of my roots and i think i just lathered too much onto my scalp guys bleach doesn't lather bleach doesn't lather Bleach doesn't lather, bleach doesn't lather. And it really irritated it. I didn't say it in the video while I was bleaching, but <laughs> Sorry. Um, I afterwards, like <laughs> my scalp was kind of very like sensitive. All right, all right, all right, all right. So this is basically the outcome. I don't think she looks bad at all. I think it's definitely wearable. Could it be a lot better? Yes. Could it have been and done a lot easier? Yes. Here's the thing, girl. Right now at this stage, I really wouldn't recommend doing it at home, but if you're gonna do it anyways, then go in with some 30 volume and lightener on those dark spots, okay? Please avoid the hair that is super light. Go in on those dark spots, use those foils again, don't use box dye, then go in with actual toners and not permanent color like T18, that'll really help. You need something a little darker, try like a level nine, probably be good for you. You made a lot of progress from that dark hair to this, pretty proud of you, but boy was it a struggle. You look fabulous though. All right, well, those were some wild bleaching videos. I'm still not quite over it, but that is all I have for you today, guys. Don't forget to follow me on all of the social media networks around the world. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at BradMondoNYC. You can also see my Facebook page and my Snapchat show under Brad Mondo. And if you would like to get the hair of your dreams, check out xmondohair.com for beautiful, fabulous, amazing hair products that are made and created by me. And make sure you check out Xmondo Hair on Instagram to stay up to date with new product launches happening very very soon. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. This is Viper Smoothing Oil. This oil is a combination of all of my favorites. It has bobap oil, argan oil, carrot seed oil. Now, what sets this oil apart is it really penetrates the hair cuticle. It goes deep inside. Instead of just laying on top of the hair and adding a greasy film, it's gonna actually go inside. Help supply nutrition, hydrate, and add a lot of shine.